following reading is taken from the Stavig letters, which were written over a 50-year period, giving voice and reality to the immigrant experience. They become a chronicle of those who left the old country and of those who stayed put. Nutley Township, Dakota Territory. I'm 36 years old, the 21st of November this year, 1881. I hear, dear brother, that you think it is not going well for me. I must answer you about that. I have none of the world's riches which can be counted in so many thousand dollars in money. I have my maran and coffee for my house the whole year. I live in my white bread days. I want to tell you that there is a lot of work to be had here. They are building two railroad tracks two to three miles between. The closest to my home is only one and a half miles away. Only three miles away they are laying out a plan for a new town. That is where we will deliver our wheat next fall. The railroad work is over for the fall, but in the spring the work will start again in earnest. The pay for a grown man is two dollars a day, and it is four dollars if he has a horse. But if you want to stay home, don't let me tear you away. If you don't try anything, you will never know how it will work out. You must try to find out. Stavik, Norway, February 4, 1887. Beloved brother Lars Stavig, I have received your much honored and long expected writing for which you are heartily thanked. I am very happy to see that you still have not let your heart feel any coldness towards your brother in the flesh who so often thinks about you and yours. Now I must tell you a little about myself. First I must tell you that this winter I shall row for fish together with Hans Karlsness. It is now four years since I rode for any fish, and I must complain about this that I'm not looking forward to this task, as you know. But if God preserves me this time, it shall be the last time I go rowing. I was very surprised at the large animal which you have. There is certainly many kilograms of usable meat on such an oxen, and much milk and butter that you get also. That you have enough I can understand, but what use is the milk you get from so many cows? The Stavig Letters Reader's Theater, created by Dr. Wayne Knudsen, led to an Emmy Award-winning television program and a published book. The collection of Stavig Letters achieved UNESCO distinction in 2018, when it was accepted into the Norwegian section of UNESCO's Memory of the World Repository. The Stavig Letters Reader's Theater has been performed more than 75 times in the United States and Scandinavia. We would love to bring it to your community.